Turn 10 has finally revealed how much space Forza Motorsport 7 will take up on your internal hard drives or external hard drives hooked up to an Xbox One. And boy, it is pretty big. What is going on guys? Randall Thor 19 the man with the million back again with another video. And yeah, some of this stuff is pretty exciting and it might impact a lot of games and a lot of uh, Xbox One consumers moving forward, which is why I wanted to make this video. So on ForzaMotorsport.net, they give this kind of pre-launch update talking about the game. And you can see here, they, they talk about how big the game is, right? It's their biggest game ever. They have 700 cars at launch, 32 tracks, a massive career in the Forza Drivers' Cup, right? And a lot of multiplayer options. And they said it's their largest game ever released in the sheer footprint size. And exactly... How big is it? Well, the Xbox One game, now remember, this is just the base Xbox One, not the Xbox One X version, just the Xbox One game, will be 95 gigabytes at launch. That is huge. I think like the biggest one on Xbox right now is Gears, and that one was at like 95 or 97 gigs, or Halo's up there as well. But this is 95 gigabytes at launch. And the interesting thing about it is that only 45 gigabytes of that will be on the Blu-ray disc. So the other 50 gigs, you're going to have to download. So hopefully you guys have pretty good internet. But it seems like you may, you may not necessarily need uh, that extra download because it says naturally the game can, play, can be played from the disc alone. However, if you want to experience the true de depth and breadth of content in Forza, you'll want to take the additional update. I guess the Forza Drivers Cup uh, single player campaign, a lot of the content is in there. But this is pretty interesting because a lot of people uh, that still buy retail, I know there are a lot of people out there who do that, they're going to come home with their copy of Forza or they're going to get it in the mail from Amazon or wherever you buy that copy. You're going to put it in the system and you're going to have to you know, install 45 gigabytes of content from the disk at least you can then be able to play and then download the other 50 gigabytes as an update. Can you imagine if you had to wait? Because I know some games have that day one update that you really can't play until it's downloaded. But it sounds like you don't necessarily need that. Like once the 45 gigabytes are installed from the disk, you'll be able to play and probably download the other 50 that is additional. I mean, they make it say it's an additional update, right? But I guess that is the true breadth of content of the game is 95 gigs but you only need 45 i'm going digital if i do get this game it'll be a 95 gigabyte download which is a lot so hopefully you know you're not one of those people that have a a data cap on their you know their their internet service or whatever comcast does but it's pretty high for me i think it's like a terabyte per month but that is just for the base xbox one right um, they talk about lit down here uh, what you can expect for the Xbox One X. And it says here, Forza Motorsport 7 will receive another large update on November 7th alongside the release of Xbox One X. This update will contain assets that enable Forza Motorsport 7 to showcase the power of the X at native 4K and a solid 60 frames with ultra high resolution content and will be a free update for those who play Forza 7 on Xbox One X. So yeah, I mean, just the regular version, 95 gigs. Who knows what the X is going to, how much more those 4K assets and everything are going to add. Is it going to be another 50 gigs? Are we looking at a potential 150 gigabyte game? And that's the other thing about, you know, the X in games like this. You know, we got Wolfenstein, all these games that are getting that 4K update, right? Halo and stuff like that. You're going to need the space on your hard drive. And yeah, it's true. Microsoft's going to let you download some of that stuff beforehand. That might get bar kind of detailed. But still, like that's a lot of data to download over the internet. Especially if you have a data cap. And then of course, you're limited to how much you hold by your space on your hard drive. The base xbox one x comes with a terabyte which means you only get about 800 gigabytes of space and if you have forza motorsport 7 on there that might take up close to 200 of the 800 gigs now of course you can go out and buy an additional 
external hard drives like I have. I have a four terabyte one and I have a one terabyte one. And I'm thinking of, you know, replacing the one terabyte with an eight terabyte because all these games coming out from this point forward, they're all going to be huge games. Games are getting bigger every single year as we move down the road. So you're going to need the space. So if you're really getting to the Xbox One X, it might be worthwhile to think about investing into external hard drives. I know Seagate has that one that is $200, but also comes with eight gigabytes and you can plug in more. I'm thinking about buying that because I know I get the games because I love me video games and you guys know this, but you need the space and nobody's going to want to be like, well, I want to download, you know, the newest game, but that's 150 gigs on the X. I might as well delete Forza Motorsport 7 to free up that 150. And then what happens if you want to play Forza again? Download that 150 gigabytes again? Eh, I don't know. I know they have that intelligent, like, design memory thing that they kind of just talked about where it shrinks games files. But if you play a lot of games and if you're planning on getting the X... Uh, you're going to to need and invest in an external hard drive because these games are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Those 4K assets and stuff are going to take up a lot of space. But yeah, speaking of the Forza, 95 gigs at launch, just on the base Xbox One. Only 45 gigs on the disc. The other 50 is a download. And that might be something to worry about going down in the future because if more games go above... The 50, because I think that's what Blu-ray disc hold is around 50 gigs. Then the rest of the game is a download. And some of the, you know, the ownership of physical kind of goes out the window there. When like, yeah, you get the game, but then you got to download. You basically got to download more than the entire disc. So it's pretty interesting stuff. And I thought I'd make a video to uh, tell you guys about it. Anyways, that is the video. What do you guys think? 95 gigs at launch for Forza. What's your guys' take on that? Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't or are new or if you just found this video on by just searching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification button as well. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. And I'll see everyone in the next video. Later, guys.